The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. School children ushered in a nativity display at the state capitol last week. No sooner was it dismantled Monday than the satanic temple was singing another tune. Right here. Organizers sought to install their display in the exact same spot and got flack from building managers. I'm going to ask you very politely to set your display right here. I'm going to go right where the manger scene was. You got a problem with that? Call your boss. They prevailed. The depiction of an angel falling from heaven is a protest. There's no real significance to it. I mean, it's just a display that we put up to, to counteract the nativity scene. So you're not a devil worshiper? No. In addition to the fallen angel, a menorah is on display, as is a new low-key picture of the nativity. For two years running, the state said no to this display. Then the lawyers got involved, and they said, if you're going to have this, you're going to have this. And here it is. Pam Olson of the Florida Prayer Network doesn't like the satanic display, but... We have freedom here, and thank God we do have that. So he can spoof all he wants, but the reality is Merry Christmas. The displays come down next Monday, but the Capitol is going to be closed Wednesday evening through the weekend, giving little visibility to the alternate ideas that are on display. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.